What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, checking out this new, very interesting trap card that just got revealed called Feedback. This is coming out of Phantom Rage. It's a normal trap that says banish any number of cards from your extra deck face down. And if you do banish face up that many random face down cards from your opponent's extra deck until the end phase. Now, truth be told, when I first read this card, I hated it. I was like, oh my goodness, this is gimmick. Mickey, just pack filler trash. This card is terrible. Why would I want to do that much permanent damage to my extra deck just to inconvenience my opponent for one turn? And then I started thinking about this card more and more. I started thinking about the absolute ceiling of this card, but more specifically, I started thinking about how much you could actually do with one turn of your opponent not really having full access to their extra deck. And that's when I actually started loving this card. First off, you have to acknowledge the ceiling of this card. While I don't think, you know, this is what you're going to go for, but the ceiling of this card is technically taking away your opponent's entire extra deck. If you really wanted to go balls to the wall, you could take away your entire extra deck, banish all 15 cards face down, and your opponent would have to, you know, basically lose their extra deck for the turn now honestly i think if you're playing against a deck like Ad Emancipators or Madoche, if you're playing against some of the new stuff from Rise of the Duelists like Fluffles or Infernible Knights, those decks basically can't play Yu-Gi-Oh! without their extra deck. I mean, seriously, what is what is an Ad Emancipator go deck going to do without their extra deck that's going to remotely even threaten you? I mean, what, what are they going to do? Go research or pass? Like, <laughs> they're basically not playing Yu-Gi-Oh! at that point if they don't have an extra deck. And I was like, okay, that's kind of spicy. But then I started thinking about it more. I think the person perfect number here is nine and let me explain why which by the way i think that if you did take away their extra deck for an entire turn i think there's a very legitimate chance you would have enough momentum to just beat them because they can't really do anything they're basically skipping a turn i think that if you go with nine that is like the perfect number because to me if you banish nine cards from their extra deck randomly that feels like that's that's basically two-thirds of their extra deck that feels like that does enough damage to break all of their big play combos to where they're not gonna really have much that they can do. Maybe a Fluffle deck can summon like a Tiger or something like that. But these Needle Fiber, Aurorodon, Link Cross decks are definitely not gonna be able to put a bunch of negates on board with only a third of their extra deck. But at the same time, that actually still lets you use something like Pot of Extravagance. Let's just say I was playing like Ultra Geist or Guru. These are decks that really don't care about their extra deck all that much. They maybe Ultra Geist will summon like one or two cards from the extra deck in a duel. Mainly they're just from Extravagance. If I went with nine, I could do enough damage to the Ad Emancipator deck where they can't really combo out on me but I could still technically resolve an extravagance before or after using feedback. And honestly, when you think about one turn of stopping your opponent, if you're playing a very strong, competent, like, control deck, chances are that's enough to actually just beat them. I mean, seriously, we know a deck like Guru or Ultra Geist, these are decks that are designed to grind. If you ever look at control versus combo, generally speaking, when control gets ahead, it stays ahead because they're actually, like, those decks are, you know, essentially made to grind. Combo decks are made to blow you out in the first two turns of the duel, and I feel like taking away their combos, even if it's just for one turn, that's probably good enough for you to win. I think that this card is actually... If you resolve it right, I think it's actually comparable to cards like Dimensional Barrier or maybe Artifact Scythe or, you know, something like Max C. I'm not saying that this card is exactly like those, but you guys know historically those are cards where people have argued all three of those should be banned because they basically stop your opponent from playing Yu-Gi-Oh! for a turn. And again, if you're playing a deck like Ad Emancipators and I take away your Aurorodon, your Savage Dragon, your Herald of the Arc Light, your Link Cross, your Needle Fiber... What are you doing with those other six random cards? Like, you're not doing anything. You're not going to beat a decent guru player because when you go research or pass, I get a free guru effect. And at that point, I basically have full control over the duel. I'm going to kill whatever random monster you summoned, and then the game's basically over. Now, I know some people might push back and say, Cap, isn't this just a weaker version, um, objectively speaking, of running maybe like, it's just, it's just a weaker version of like Artifact Scythe. And yeah, you could look at it like that, like, hey, Cap, why run this when I could just run the Scythe and Sync the Minion? However, you do have to acknowledge number one, this isn't stopped by Ash Blossom, which is like literally 
literally the most popular card in Yu-Gi-Oh! And then also, uh, you don't have to run a brick with this card. So... I personally think that this card is very good. I think it actually has a uh, good potential. I do think it's largely only good against combo decks. Like I don't, I don't think you can use this card at all against like control matchups because they don't really care about their extra deck that much. But I think that uh, if you're taking two thirds of your opponent's extra deck, essentially banishing nine cards, a lot of those combo decks aren't going to be able to do anything. This is a chainable card, so even if they have those blowout cards like you know um, evenly match or things like lightning storm you don't have to necessarily worry about getting wrecked by them so uh yeah i definitely think that control players are going to be looking at this card not main deck in my opinion unless the format like uh just kind of moves towards that but definitely side deck worthy also maybe even something that could be used against like the s0 stuff too because you know you could end up banishing a bunch of those cards your opponent wouldn't be able to use the s0 or excuse me the uh, numeron cards as well anyways whatever you guys think of feedback you leave that in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos